And here is a little step-by-step, play-by-play taste test of this brilliant double red sweet corn. So yes, I can't wait to give it a try. So there is so much diversity in this corn and we can see that with our eyes. But what does it taste like? So here is a ear that just has mm, a little bit of pigment going on. Um, Mmm, this really creamy and tons of corn flavor, not a ton of sweetness, which I actually love. It has a fairly thick skin, a fairly thick pericarp. I still love it. Definitely not as thin as a lot of modern sweet corn. Mmm, wow. This also, lots of corn, but more sweetness much thinner pericarp. Wow, that, <laughs> I wish you were here. And oh my gosh, what is this one? So here we go, here we go. This is my favorite one yet. This, super creamy. Also super corny, <laughs> but really sweet. And not like sugary sweet, it like, it's a sweetness that just like lifts up all the rest of these corn flavors, but the creaminess and this though, that's a big ear. Like that's a, that's a lot of kernel in that. Wow. That is a special corn. And let's take a look at this beauty. Now let's take a taste. <laughs> hmm. You know, this one is good but i'm waiting for the lime and the salt and the this is like not super sweet also not super strong corn flavor so cool awesome i'd happily eat it and like look at those anthocyanins like super nutritious but not a ton of what we think of as corn corn or flavor or sweetness and now let's look at this oh my gosh isn't that wild double red sweet corn Wow, that is incredible. So yeah, this has a lot of sweetness and a lot of corn flavor. Just fantastic. Not as creamy, not as creamy as this color, but definitely creamy. And like a fairly thick pericarp, not super thin, but also yeah, not as thick as this other one. How cool. What is this one gonna be? I haven't even opened it yet. And take a look. The silks are even this beautiful color. Oh, so yes. Oh my gosh. It's never gets old. Every time it's like unwrapping a gift. And this just in. It is. So here is a beautiful, beautiful color. Oh my gosh. And here we go. Mm. Wow. Again, something totally different happening here. This is corn, but it's like floral corn. Which like floral means sweet, and it is. But it's not like sugar. It's like nectar, but like, like, oh, wow. How do I even describe this? Super thin pericarp, great mouthfeel, like super crisp. Wow. Yeah, it's like if corn was a flower, <laughs> what would it taste like? That's a fabulous corn. And I have one more. Let's see who is underneath all of these beautiful purple husks. La 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 la. Oh my gosh. This is just so beautiful. Wow. Take a look. <laughs> ah, so yes. Wow. We should really do this in person one day. <laughs> well, I'm kind of at a loss. This is also 
really delicious. Super corn and yeah, a different kind of sweet. It's, it's less, it's not on the sugar scale, but it's also not on that like floral nectar. It's like, it's like sweetness of honey hay. And, mm, but yeah, it's like almost, even at this stage, which is totally milk stage, and the, the, all those silks were not brown, but this is already starting to turn toward um, starchiness. So yeah, that is so interesting. So definitely try <laughs> double red at lots of different stages, friends. There is so much diversity here that we can see with our eyes, but so much diversity that we can taste as well. And I'm just making this up. I mean, I am no corn connoisseur. And I don't know, as much as there are people who know corn, don't let the experts tell you what to think. Just go ahead, grow it, taste it, share what you love, share what you're intrigued by. And then who knows, in a few thousand more years, we might also be growing and eating and sharing corn that is mind-bogglingly beautiful and delicious beyond our wildest dreams.